guys, in this video, we will be learning about intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are attraction between molecules. For example, the dotted lines between these HCl molecules are indicating intermolecular forces between its own neighboring molecules. There are three main types of intermolecular forces, which are van der Waals forces, also known as London dispersion forces. The second is dipole-dipole interaction. Last but not least is hydrogen bonding. These intermolecular forces are placed in these sequences to indicate that they are not equal in terms of strength. The van der Waals forces is the weakest force and hydrogen bonding is the strongest of all these three intermolecular forces. These three types of intermolecular forces affect the physical properties of molecules in terms of melting point, boiling point, solubility, and density. Let's look into the details of van der Waals forces. Van der Waals forces is an induced dipole or temporary dipole which happens in non-polar region of a molecule. For example, in this chlorine molecule, electrons are constantly moving around the atom. However, at certain point of time, electrons of one atom or one side of the molecule has more electron density. This part of the molecule becomes negatively charged and is indicated as delta negative, while the opposite side of molecule has positive charges indicated by delta positive. Similar situation occurs in neighboring molecules and attractive forces between neighboring molecules are called van der Waals forces. Another point to remember is that these partial charges are temporary as they could also randomly switch these charges on the opposite direction depending on where the electron density is higher. Examples of molecules with van der Waals forces are nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, monoatomic molecules such as helium, argon and neon. Other examples are carbon dioxide and alkane group such as methane and long chain hydrocarbon groups. Most importantly, van der Waals forces become stronger when size of a molecules become bigger indicating high electron density. Moving on to the second intermolecular forces, the dipole-dipole interaction, which is a permanent dipole occurring in polar molecules. For example, HCl is a polar molecule because there is a difference in the electronegativity between chlorine and hydrogen atom. Therefore, the electronegativity atom, chlorine, attracts the shared electron pair more towards itself causing negative charges while less electronegative hydrogen atom is positively charged. The differences in electronegativity between these two atoms is known as dipole moment and in this HCl molecule the dipole moment is 1 d by. Other neighboring HCl molecules also have such permanent dipoles and the attraction forces between other HCl forces is called dipole-dipole interaction. Examples of molecule with dipole-dipole interactions are sulfur dioxide and fluoromethane. The third intermolecular forces is hydrogen bonding which is the attractive forces between hydrogen atom and highly electronegative atom such as fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen. A classic example of molecules with hydrogen bonding is water molecules. As shown in this diagram, the hydrogen atom with delta positive sign is attracted to its neighboring oxygen atom with delta negative sign. The negative charges here are mainly to the unshared electron pairs on oxygen atom. The attractive forces between these molecules is called hydrogen bonding. 
and it is the reason behind the high boiling point of water and why ice crystals have lower density compared to its liquid state. Other examples of molecules with hydrogen bondings are ammonia and alcohol such as methanol and ethanol. These hydrogen bondings are also the reason for these molecules to be highly soluble in water. Alright guys, I hope the video helped you to learn differences between these three intermolecular forces. That's all for now and thanks for watching.